The transistor is considered one of the greatest inventions of the 20th century. The transistor was first created by three people, William Shockley, John Bardeen, and Walter Bratton. The Nobel Prize for Peace was awarded to the three men in 1956. Transistors now are almost microscopic and are very hard to see. They are made up of a little piece of silicon. The first transistor, though, was a very big piece of metal and wires. The transistor is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electronic signals. It is made up of a semiconductor with at least three terminals. A voltage or current applied to one pair of the transistor's terminals changes the current flowing through another pair of terminals. The transistor replaced the vacuum tube because it was smaller, cheaper, and had a much longer life. The transistor provides a great benefit to everyone around the world. It is found in almost any electrical devices. The first commercial device to make use of the transistor was a hearing aid in 1953. It took six years for the first commercial device using the transistor to come into the market. The first transistor radio came out a year later in 1954. In 1958, instead of making the transistors one by one, integrated circuits were developed so that several transistors could be made at the same time on the semiconductor. It was predicted that at that time by the co-founder of Intel, Gordon Moore, that the number of transistors on a chip would double every two years. This became known as the Moore's Law. In 1971, the Intel 4004 processor contained 2300 transistors. By 2007, the quad-core Intel Xeon processor contained 820 million transistors. The latest Intel i9 processor to be available later in 2010 will contain 2 billion transistors. Expect the basic principle of transistor to remain the foundation of future electronics. However, the materials and technologies that form the the way transistor is made today may change in the future. In 1907, American Telephone and Telegraph, or AT&T, was in trouble. They needed something big that could put them back on top. The idea of transcontinental service providing telephone service across great geographic areas was to save the company. An American inventor, Lee DeForest, developed the vacuum tube. AT&T bought his patent and improved it. Now they were able to speak across continents but needed a series of vacuum tubes along the way to magnify the signals. These vacuum tubes, though, were very unreliable and heated up very fast. When these vacuum tubes break down, the service is interrupted. Replacing these vacuum tubes cost a lot of time and money. AT&T finally charged the company's research arm, Bell Labs, to find a new semiconductor device that would allow them to speak anywhere without worrying about things breaking. The transistor was invented in Bell Laboratories in 1947. The invention of the transistor got little attention at the time, either in the popular press or the industry. Shockley left Bell Labs to found the Shockley Semiconductor in Palo Alto, California. His company was the beginning of the Silicon Valley. Two of the engineers Shockley hired went on to form their own company called Intel Corporation. Intel and Texas Instruments co-invented the integrated circuit. In the 1950s and 1960s, most of the U.S. companies chose to create transistor-related products that deal with military machines and electronics. That opened the door to Japanese engineers who founded Sony to create small transistor radios. The transistor radios changed the world by making the news readily available to people all around the world. The original three engineers, Shockley, Bratton, and Bardeen, could not have known when they first began to work on the transistors that this invention would change the world. Within six years, the hearing aid using transistors was available in the marketplace, followed shortly by the invention of the transistor radio. Why did it take six years for the first product to go to market? Engineer manager Alex Interante of Research and Development at Samsung Telecommunications responds this way. You know, I think in any company, you've got a, a delay between when you first have an idea or a concept for a product between when you can, between that time and when you can actually get it out to production. So you have, uh, even in the best company, you've probably got a two-year cycle between the time when you 
kind of think of something that might be a good product by the time you get it designed and prototyped and, and get production ramped up. It really took a collection of visionaries to get it out and, and the, to understand really a useful product that it could, um, could make. So even though you had the folks that invented it and they could explain what a good benefit it was, say, technologically, it took a whole lot of people to get together to figure out, okay, but what can we do with it? The invention of transistors enabled the engineers to create and modify new and existing electronics, making them more energy efficient, more cost efficient, and more durable. Within 10 years, new technology companies such as Intel, Sony, and Texas Instruments formed using transistors as their foundation for additional inventions. As the transistor technology becomes more popular, it spread like wildfire to other technological companies. New products and services based on the transistor technology starts to take shape. In the years following, we see the transistors make its way into computers, cars, telephones, appliances, military equipment, and space equipment. There are many changes over time brought about by the invention of transistors. It revolutionized the use of electronics in our everyday lives. It also made all sorts of other inventions possible. These days, you know, the, the name of the game in transistor technology is to make them smaller and smaller and cram more in a small area. And um, so, and, and that's going on, you know, with this exponential rate has been for decades and will continue to do so. So you're able to do things like have an iPod in your pocket. I'm guessing an iPod has a, you know, on the order of 100 million transistors in it, uh, all performing the function, let you listen to music whenever you want. The transistors are not only used by the engineers to create new inventions, it is integrated into our lives today. Mechanical engineer Suzanne Day puts it this way. Transistors are so integrated into our everyday life that we use them without even realizing it. Transistors are used to build up many different electrical devices that we can use to access information. Information can be gathered faster by accessing the internet through a computer. It is less labor-intensive and communication through email allows people to be more in touch. The labor that is required to do many various jobs changed with the invention of transistors. Transistors power computers which automated the process of building cars by using robotic arms. Transistors cut down the amount of time needed to build a car, therefore making the factories more efficient. Because both white collar and blue collar workplace to be completely different from what it used to be before. For example, in white collar work, most of the time today is spent in processing and uh, modifying information. Factory automation and other forms of uh, automated machinery have also made um, enormous changes to the way work, um, blue collar work is performed today. The financial institutions around the world have been changed dramatically by the invention of transistors. This includes the stock market with its advanced computer technology is able to buy, sell, and predict stocks in a short amount of time. This is also true for banks as they now provide online banking for the customers. Most businesses today use computers to keep track of their inventories and financial data. For example, supermarkets now have point-of-sale machines that scan in merchandise to keep track of what goes in and what goes out. The transistors are regarded as some of the most influential innovations of the 20th century. The inventors of transistors never foresaw how much the transistors could change the world. The short-term impact of transistors spurred on the beginning of the creation of technical companies that created electronic devices. The changes over time with the transistors are the way people behave and function in our society today. The invention of transistors created a legacy of technological innovation and will continue to do so for years to come.